You're listening to the One Man Show Network. Welcome to the MMA Fight Picks Podcast with your host, Aaron Weinbaum. Hey everyone, welcome to the MMA Fight Picks Podcast. I'm your host, Aaron Weinbaum. I am attempting a multi-stream, so I'm in the uh, One Man uh, Show Network Studio South, I guess you can call it, in my office. So if you're on Periscope or YouTube, feel free to say hi. I am picking fights for this week's main event, uh, Michelle Watterson versus Angela Hill, uh, the UFC Apex, this Saturday, uh, September 12th. So like I said, this is an interactive type of thing. I'm going to try to bring up the comments here. So I'm on YouTube and Periscope. I'm attempting the multi-stream. It doesn't always work well for me, but uh, hopefully the multi-stream is going strong. I just don't know. Uh, all right. Well, you know what? I'm not going to stress about it. Wherever I am, I am, and uh, that will be it. Oh, it is going live on the YouTube. So, like I said, if you're on YouTube, also hit subscribe. All right. First fight of the night uh, that I'm going to pick anyways, Roosevelt Roberts versus Matt Frivola, the Steam Rolla. Fun fact, his dad's name is nicknamed the Bull Doza. So, yeah, how about that? Roosevelt Roberts, uh, I think he, yeah, he did just lose to Jim Miller uh, via submission. Before that, uh, he's got wins over Brock Weaver and Alexander Yakolev. And uh, he did lose to Vince Pichel very recently, or last year as well. Matt Frivola, the Steam Rolla. Uh, two wins in a row. He beat Violent Bob Ross, Luis Pena. Beats uh, Yalin Turner. Did have that weird draw against Londo, Funky v- Londo Venata. I lost to Polo Reyes. Um, you know, he, he's a bit streaky here and, but I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know what the training situation is like right now in New York with Sarah Longo. There are rumors that Favola had to go to, um, why am I blanking here? Florida to train, but gosh, man, this is tough, but I'm not going to, Pick against the Long Island uh, guy right now. Those guys are hot. You, you know, even though their training is not so hot. You know, you got Aljo coming on strong. You know, he's going to fight for the belt. Weidman just won. So they're figuring out. These Long Island guys are fig- figuring out. So I'm going to go with the Steam Rolla. Matt Frivola. All right. Next up, we got Frank Camacho versus Brock Chada Weaver. I think Brock had that kind of dirty little kick here recently. Oh, yeah, it was. No, it was uh, Vargas had the elite, the weird little kick. That's strange. And then, yeah, he's got a strange record here. So he did just lose. Uh, Brock Weaver did just lose to Roosevelt Roberts. Then he has wins over uh, Rodrigo Vargas, disqualification, illegal knee. Devin Smith he, he wins that. James Freeman, corner interference. This is a very odd very odd resume here. Let's look at Frank Camacho. Can't can't think of Frank without thinking Hector Camacho here. Uh, just lost Justin James. Just lost to Benil Darius. That was the rear naked choke in round one. Um, wins over Nick Hain, but not a lot of wins, man. I mean, he's got a lot of losses recently. More losses than wins. Uh, but then Brock Weaver. I I, I go back to that. Just lost to Roosevelt Roberts. Before that, he doesn't really have that strong uh, of a resume. But then he got Camacho. (laughs) I don't know, man. This is a tough one. I would say this is a pick him, but I I like Camacho. He's just got the more UFC experience. We're going to see that. Uh, I think we're going to see that benefit him. And I I got, uh, yeah, I'm going to pick Frank Camacho. Next up, uh. Brian Barbarena versus Anthony, I love this, Aquaman Ivy. Uh, let's look at Anthony Ivy first. This is a welterweight, of course, just lost to Christian Aguilera. Before that, a whole lot of wins, but uh, not in the UFC. So his only UFC appearance right now, he has lost. So he's got wins over, you know, just a bunch of guys I've never heard of. Willis Black, Jason Longalier, Aaron Reeves, Washington Louise, Derek uh, Ajade. Looks like age day, but I'm going to say it's a it's a funky type pronunciation. Like I said, if you are the Periscope and uh, YouTube, I see tons of viewers coming in and out. But uh, feel free to say hi or help me pick here. Um, 
I didn't realize Barbarina has lost two in a row, both by knockout. Um, Randy Brown and Vincente Luque, you know, both those guys are, 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 uh, very formidable opponents. Has, of course, uh, I think he retired Jake Ellenberger, if I'm not mistaken, back in August 2018. Um, lost to Leanne Edwards, Joe Proctor. Very interesting here. But again, I'm going to go with the guy with the UFC experience here, Brian Barbarino. Okay. Next up, I believe this fight is at. Oh, it is flyweight. How about that? Uh, Matt Schnell versus Tyson Nam. Uh, Schnell, gosh, hasn't lost since. Well, I guess he did lose his last fight in December against uh, Alexander Pantoja. Um, before that, you know, he had like four wins in a row. Jordan Espinosa, Louis Smolka, I think it was probably Smolka's. No. Oh, that is interesting. That went over Louis Smolka. That was, uh, March 2019. And Smolka, he was kind of on a tear there. So very interesting. Um, Noikoi Inoue, Marco Beltran. All right. And before that, you know, he hadn't lost since 2017. And he's kind of gone back and forth between Bantamweight and Flyweight. So very interesting here. Uh, Tyson Nam, been around a while, man. Gosh, when did he start? Because I, I, I'm thinking he fought like, yeah, 20, 2006. So good Lord. Good on him. How old is Tyson Nam? Does anyone know? I'm going to have to look her up here real quick. Don't make me do math. Oh, good. 36. Okay. Well, I mean, he's been around, but he's not super old either. So, um, that's nice. Just beat, uh, Zaruk Adashev. Oh, he does have those two losses. K. Cara France and Sergio Perez. And, uh, what did he miss weight? I'm sorry. Adashev missed weight. My, my bad. My bad. Ooh, this is a really tough one. You know, he's got some good wins. He's been around a long time. Oh, man. Golly. These are really tough fights to pick. I like that. Uh, they're not just throwing a bunch of guys together. Well, they are. I'll, I'll get to that. But uh, I'm going to go Tyson Nam here. I mean, how long has Snell been fighting? I'm just out of curiosity, too. Yeah, since 2012. I'm going, uh, I'm going Tyson Nam in this one. Julie Avilia versus uh, Ciara Eubanks. Sijara Eubanks. Uh, let's go look Julia first. Like, there's been a lot of opponent changes in this fight, but, uh, golly, let's take a look at Julia here. Gina Mazzani, Penny Kinzad, Alex, Alexa Connors, um, hasn't lost since May 2018 to Marcia Allen. Uh, Sierra Eubanks, you know, I, I think she almost had a title shot here, like, kind of by mistake here, but she did just beat Sarah Morris. Uh, she had problems making, uh, featherweight. So she did return to bantamweight here recently. No. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, featherweight, bantamweight. No, flyweight. Featherweight. My bad. No, no, no. She had trouble making the flyweight limit return to bantamweight. Okay. Featherweight's 145 pounds, kids. In case you didn't know. Now you know. Um. So lost to Betch Korea. Lost to Aspen Lad. Um, so she, you know, her return has not been quite triumphant. You know, the wins she did make at 125 pounds, you know, she missed weight for some of them. And, you know, I don't like that. Like even, uh, Roxanne Modafari. Ooh, this is a tough one, you know, and I don't know what the odds are here, but I, you know, Julia has been on that four fight win streak and, and she's, you know, I don't know how tough Gina is, but you know, Panny's pretty tough. Gosh, I mean, she's only lost one time. She's got to win over Nico Montano too. Like, uh, you know, who who you may know from winning uh, a championship and never defended, I believe, on a, uh, the Ultimate Fire. But yeah, I got Julia Avila on that one. All right, this is not even the co-main event yet. This is cool. Light heavyweight. Ed Herman was supposed to fight uh, Gerald Marchot. Didn't work out. I don't know how many opponent changes he went through, but it's quite a few. Um, he's taking on Mike Rodriguez, and I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have any idea who Mike Rodriguez is, but well, I'm going to look him up. Ed Herman, you may remember from the Ultimate Fighter, middleweight uh, fight against uh, Kendall Grove. 
both got contracts famously, just like, you know, what happened with Forrest Griffin, Stephen Bonner. Uh, like I said, if you are on the chat, feel free. I see I got lots of watchers, but everyone's too quiet to talk. So feel free to talk. Feel free to say hello if you want to. Feel free to help me pick this fight between Ed Herman and uh, Mike Rodriguez. All right, so Ed Herman just beat uh, Kadis Abragamov. Patrick Cummins, I believe he retired Patrick Cummins. That's interesting. Uh, but then he had like the three losses in a row, a split decision against Jan Volante, a loss against C.B. Dalloway, uh, a loss against Nikita Krylov. But all of a sudden, he's quietly came back and won two in a row. He did beat Tim Bosch. I, where's Tim Bosch been uh, at light heavyweight as well? But that was 2016. That was a long time ago. I, I don't, I'd like to know where Tim Bosch is, you know? So, oops. Take a look at Mike Rodriguez here. Had a little technical glitchy there. Just beat uh, Marcin Pracino. Pracino lost to Da Ong Jong. Has a win over John Allen. Uh, uh, Adam Milstead's a decent win, but that was back in 2018. Lost to Devin Clark. Okay. I think this is one of those fill in the blanks fights that I said I haven't seen too much of on this card, but it's got to be. And and, and I, I'd like to think that Ed Herman's uh, experience and, and caliber of competition will carry him to a win in this fight. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with my hands here for those of you that are watching. Okay, next up, Alan Patrick versus Bobby Green at lightweight. Uh, Alan Patrick first just lost to Scotty Hot Sauce Holtman back in October 28. Oh, he has had a long layoff here. 2018. So, you know, gosh. Wins over Steve Ray, Damian Brown, John Modesky, Mac Desi. Uh, wow. But, you know, very, very streaky. He fought twice in 2018 and then 2016 he fought twice. So, yeah, very, very long layoffs here. But then you got the super active, all of a sudden on tear Bobby Cream. Lando Venata, Clay Guida. He did lose a decision to Francisco Trinaldo back in uh, November last year. Uh, you know, decision against her car close. Went over Eric Koch. Oh, man. Very interesting. Um, I think this is one of those you threw them together fights too. But I like Bobby Green. He's been on a hot streak here. Uh, I like him to win this fight. Next up at the flyweight, Andrea Lee. Roxanne Modafari. Let's take a look at Andrea Lee first. Uh, she just lost to Lauren Murphy. Just lost to Joanne Calderwood. Both decisions. Both split decisions. So you know how those go. Has wins over Montana De La Rosa. Ashley Evan Smith. So, you know. Yeah. You know, 2019 uh, loses. 2020 loses. So, you know, February is not that long ago. But Roxanne... Just fought and lost as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, also lost to Lauren Murphy. Lauren Murphy, who's looking like a killer all of a sudden, right? Went over Macy Barber. You know, the highly touted Macy Barber. She kind of took the uh, wind out of her sails. Uh, lost over Gen to Jennifer Maya. Uh, win over Antonia Shevchenko. You know, everyone thinks she's good just because of her sister. Don't like that loss against Sajera Eubanks just because Eubanks law, uh, missed weight that, that, uh, before that fight, um, ew. I like Roxanne. I like her camp. I I, I like Roxanne. <laughs> excuse me, Roxanne to win this fight. All right, quiet people. This is uh your last chance. So many watchers, so little list, uh, so little uh, participation here. I'm not used to that. Yo, can't believe that came out of my mouth. Yeah, so Michelle Watterson lost a split decision to Carla Esparza. Uh, she did lose a unanimous decision to Joanna Jorjacek. Joanna looked great all five rounds. Does have three wins in a row before that. Carolina Kwaschwitz, uh, Felice here, Courtney Casey. You know, we're going all the way back to 2018. Then Angela Hill on a hot streak lately here. She did lose to Claudia Gadelia, but I didn't think she lost that fight. Angela Hill didn't think she lost that fight either. And then all these short notice fights like, she went September, and then January, I believe she took a short notice fight. February, right after, she takes a short notice fight. So, uh, Loma Luca Bonomi, I can't say that right hand of Cyphers, Arian Conalosi. Okay, so, no, oh, this is tough. I think that somehow Michelle Watterson is the underdog here. And if I was a betting man, I don't know what I would do. 
You know, because this is interesting here. I mean, you can say that Michelle lost two in a row, but I think her competition's been just a little bit more here. I think Angela Hill's hungry. I think Angela Hill wants this. Um, I think she's a little bit of the bigger girl here. Like, you get to the grappling, you know, um, Watterson says she's a good grappler, but she's lighter than most of these girls. So, it's it, very interesting here. I like Angela Hill. I like Michelle Watterson too, but I like Angela Hill to win this fight. That's it. We've done it. We picked the fight. So, uh, thanks for all of you that have watched. And if there's no questions or comments, I'm going to scoot on out of here and say shalom. Please remember to support the podcast by visiting the affiliate links on AaronSaysWhat.com.